There are loads more bedtime stories on BBC iPlayer. Just search CBeebies Bedtime Stories. CBeebies Bedtime Story. Hello, I'm Tom. Sitting here with the birds singing and the sun shining, I feel really good. Especially because I'm about to read you a bedtime story. But I don't feel good every day. In fact, we all get poorly from time to time. When we do, sometimes we need a bit of extra help to get better. Brilliant people like nurses and doctors can help us feel better. And many others with exciting sounding jobs like radiographers and paramedics. So I'm going to read you a story all about a very special team of magnificent people and a dragon who like to look after others when they're feeling poorly. And it's called Zog and the Flying Doctors. And it's by Julia Donaldson with pictures by Axel Scheffler. Meet the Flying Doctors. A dragon, a knight and girl. Their names are Gadabout the Great and Zog and Princess Pearl. Pearl gives people medicine and pills and vaccinations. And Gadabout is expert at performing operations. Zog is good at flying, though not quite so good at landing. But Gadabout and Princess Pearl are always understanding. Flying high one morning, they heard a mermaid wail. I'm sunburned and it hurts, she cried, and swished her scaly tail. Bang, crash, thump, they landed. The mermaid's skin was red. Pearl rubbed in some special cream. And wear this hat, she said. Thank you said the mermaid, and she waved a fond goodbye as the team of flying doctors sped away into the sky. As the sun rose higher, they saw a unicorn. He pawed the ground and whinnied, I've grown an extra horn. Bang, crash, thump. I'll help you, said the knight, and he cut the horn off gently to the unicorn's delight. Thank you, said the unicorn, for taking so much care. And the team of flying doctors sped away into the air. Halfway through the afternoon, they heard a lion sneeze. I've caught the flu, the lion roared. Can someone help me, please? Bang, crash, stop. They landed. And Pearl said, take this pill and do keep warm. That's terribly important when you're ill. But the lion's cave was chilly. So Zog said, fetch some wood. Then he breathed out lots of flames until the fire burned bright and good. Thank you roared the lion. I'm feeling nice and warm. Then the team of flying doctors sped away into the storm. As evening fell, they saw a great big palace down below. My uncle's house, said Princess Pearl. Let's go and say hello. Bang, crash, thump, they landed. Pearl's uncle was the king. He didn't say hello. Instead, he said, you naughty thing. Where have you been, he thundered. You look an awful mess. What's happened to your crown and where's your pretty frilly dress? But uncle, can't you see that I'm a doctor now? Said Pearl. The king replied, princesses can't be doctors, silly girl. He told his men to seize her and to lock her up inside. Princess Pearl was furious. She stamped and stormed and cried. Weeks went by and Princess Pearl spent many weary hours sewing pretty cushions and arranging pretty flowers the others tried to rescue her with all their might and main. But they simply couldn't manage. All their efforts were in vain. Each night, they flew to visit her and perched upon her sill. And one dark night, she told them that the king had fallen ill. The king grew worse. His head was sore, his arms and legs felt weak. His skin had turned bright orange, and he found it hard to speak. He called a lot of doctors, a new one every day. He croaked, what is this illness? But they simply couldn't say. They didn't know the answer, but Pearl was pretty sure. It looks like orange fever. She read about the cure. Grated horn of unicorn, a mighty lion sneeze, some mermaid scales, a little slime, and half a pound of cheese. She told the others what to get, and do be very quick. My uncle could be dying. He looks extremely sick. Away flew Zog and Gadabout. They reached the lion's den. Bang, crash, thump, they landed. He sneezed for them. <laughs> then they flew back to the forest, where the grateful unicorn 
was very pleased to give them his unwanted sawn-off horn. Back to the mermaid's rock they flew, she gladly gave some scales, and her sea snail friends allowed them to collect their slimy trails. Zog said, I'm exhausted, but he flew and flew until, bang crash stop, he landed on the bedroom windowsill. Princess Pearl said thank you for the scales, the slime, the sneeze, and the horn, which then she grated up with half a pound of cheese. She tiptoed to her uncle's room. The king lay in his bed. She held a spoonful to his mouth. Now open wide, she said. After just one spoonful, her uncle felt much stronger. And after spoonful two, he was an orange any longer. After spoonful three, the king was dancing with delight. Oh, ho, ho. Princesses can be doctors. You were absolutely right. I'm sorry that I locked you up. Of course, you must go free. But do come back to visit me and bring your friends to tea. Hooray, cried Pearl. And out she ran to join the other two. Then off into the sunset sped the flying doctor crew. Hmm. So Pearl proved that she was a brilliant doctor after all. And Zog made a pretty good ambulance too. Although he may need a bit more landing practice. But what a wonderful team they make. Now, I wonder what you'll be when you grow up. Anyway, time for bed now. So have a lovely evening and dream exciting dreams. Good night. <sighs>